Hi, everybody, and welcome behind Inside Investigations. Here again with senior producer Marnie Zambri. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell, and today we're talking Walker Stalker. What's uh, Walker Stalker? Well, well, Walker Stalker is a business that was spawned from the hit series The Walking Dead. A man who was a rabid fan had started a podcast about it, saw that this was a show that had a rabid fan base, basically. And so he started um, working with not only the, the fans, but working with the actors and working with the show uh, producers of AMC to build these, what they were called, fan fests. And I think they used to do it back in the 70s and 80s when I was growing up, but um, they were not nearly as well organized. They may have done it at Magic Mountain or one of the amusement parks, but these are freestanding conventions when fans um, can come and meet their favorite characters of The Walking Dead. Okay, so they're big. In fact, this became the biggest one of its kind. Of its kind, and it made millions and millions of dollars because um, not only would fans pay to get in, they would pay up fees, uh, chances to take their picture with um, their favorite celebrity. So he built this great business model. I mean, it's kind of ingenious what he did. Um, and he was making money hand over fist. Had events planned out one, two years in, in the future, and then and something happened. Yes, and then there was a plot twist. Um, you know, as I, I'm not an aficionado on Walking Dead, but I uh, believe in about season... Seven? Well, seven it started, but um, the characters started changing, and the main character, um, played by Lincoln, something happened. And he left the show, and uh, lots of lots of fans left. The yeah, convention. there was a couple, and there was a couple other people that left the show. So in a matter of six months, the um, the show lost seventy percent of its audience. They lost seventy percent of their audience, and they lost um, attendance and interest in these fan events. And so it's the old story. He allegedly started robbing Peter to pay Paul. Um, he got behind in his expenses, and then he wouldn't issue refunds. And that's what got the, uh, in, the officials involved. Yes, and so we went to um, Tennessee. We spoke with the um, Attorney General's office there because they are suing him. They're taking a look at his tax uh, records. Um, but again, what makes this story so great is the characters, you know, there were such great characters in The Walking Dead, but the characters within the story that we did on Walker Stalker were very rich and it made it um, great. We had a great fan um, that she was so into uh, The Walking Dead. She had a tattoo on her leg and, and she was so gracious with her time and willing to talk to us about it. And, she, and what amazed me about her was that she wasn't bitter. Yeah. Yeah, and we also found a great insider, a person that had been hired to come in and try to save the company. And uh, he, he really made the story because uh, he did have inside Doesn't information. He was a very entertaining Open guy, very informative, and it Who's gives you an inside look into how the story was put together. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, we think you probably have, but check it out. And we'll see you next time here oh, on... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting messages from... From our friends? It's, no, not that friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. And uh, oh, did you see that? That did you see the show last week? Walking Dead. Well, yeah. No, I don't watch it. Oh, there's this great, there's this great <laughs> scene where this guy goes. Yeah, it's, it's work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> see you next time.